Hey, hi everyone. This is Mukesh from learn-automation.com. Today we are going to talk about very interesting topic in Selenium WebDriver called how to download files. So we have seen how to download files in Chrome browser, Firefox, in iBrowser. But the problem is we have to write a different script for downloading from the different browsers, right? But using AutoIT, you can write a general script and using this script, you can download any file from any of the browser. You don't have to change the script uh, to download files in different browsers. So we're going to write one easy script and you will love this feature of AutoIT. You just have to call one method and your file will be downloaded. So today we'll talk about the method which will help you to download a uh, file. I will not say it's a method, I will say it's a command in AutoIT. Then we will write a small script which will download the file. So if you don't know how to install AutoIT and uh, um, how to get the HTML file, which is nothing but a help document, you can refer to my previous video where we have discussed how to download the AutoIT stuff. So now let me go back to the uh, AutoIT. So once you install AutoIT, you will uh, by default, it will go to your program files x86. Maybe in, in your case, it will go to program files. Just search for this AutoIT3. So here you can see you will get the same uh, folder structure. Just have to click on this compiled HTML help file. So this is the help documentation, which will help you to give the overview of all the commands which is available in AutoIT. So the command which we are going to use is uh, i uh, net get. So what exactly this command does, it will download the file from the internet using any of these protocols. So it's currently it supports HTTP, HTTPS and FTP protocol. So this method will simply ask you some parameters like from where to download and where to store and that's all. It will download the file in your local machine. So just search for this command, which we discussed just now, just search for I net get. You can see the first command. Just click on it and you can see uh, the same thing which I showed right now. It, it will download the file and this is the command. I net get first command should be from where to download. So you can see the parameters which is expecting is this URL, URL the file of the download file name what you want to keep the file name, you can give the location exactly where you want to keep all this. Third and fourth one is optional. So you can see the third one is options. So these are the options available. So currently we are going to use this option, inet force load. It means it will forcefully reload or it will download from the remote site. I will show you, I will download a file from the selenimhq.org. So let's say I have a requirement. I need to check whether the download functionality is working fine or not in the selenimhq.org. And let's say I have to download any of the files. As of now, I will download a small file, which is nothing but IE driver. So if I click on this 32 bit, uh, the file will get downloaded, right? Now I will uh, do the same thing through AutoIT. So what I will do, I will start a notepad. And uh, first of all, the URL, this is the URL right or I will directly take this URL for this example so this is the URL from where we will get the download right selenium release storage and I will keep all the downloads in this folder so currently in G drive I have a folder called download files and I will keep all the downloads here so now good thing about auto IT is when you uh, scroll down it will give you all the description and you can see they have given complete script as well, right? So if you click on this, open this script, it will open the script. Okay, so they have given the default script, which you can use. So it looks tough, but when you see step by step, it's quite easy. So in, initially they included a couple of libraries. Then they have one function. So in this function, they have one uh, parameter like file path where you want to save our uh, download files from where you need to download all this file and the option right which we discussed inet force load they also have one more uh, argument called download background it means internally it will download and it will run in the background so if you see the last option is background so they have two options either download wait so it will wait until the download is not complete 
but definitely we are not going to use this because we have to wait let's say if you are downloading a lengthy file we have to keep waiting so we'll use this one it will download the file in the background right so now I have another script uh, just to avoid all this confusion you can see it will download the file and uh, it will give you the information about the download file it will give you the size and finally it will close and it will delete that file as well this looks a little bit complicated so I have just removed the additional parameters now we have only two parameters first parameter is where you want to save the file so I want to save all the file in G drive download files folder and one important point here like you need to give the exact extension let's say if I'm downloading exe file I have to give here exe if I'm downloading some var file jar file I have to give the exact extension in my case I'm downloading a zip file so I have given idriver.zip you can give any name here mukesh.zip file as well but the main thing is this should remain same and this is the URL from where we need to download so you can see inet get is a method or command in double quotes we have given first of all the URL right the URL which we copied just now then the file path so you can see this is the relative path using uh, this dollar symbol you can give this path if you don't want to give in this format you can directly use this just in double quotes we can provide this so no need to give this as well and finally force load it means we are downloading from the remote site if you want to download uh, locally then you can see they have other options so local cache if you want to download from the local server they have one more if you are downloading from a HTTPS site then you can use this ignore SSL it will ignore all the SSL error and it will download in your system there's so many things but generally we use this if you have to download from the local uh, remote site so you can see just one command now let me uh, save this so I have one folder download the script I will give this as uh, download file auto it Okay, it went to G drive uh, selenium auto IT scripts download scripts so this is the script that we have created just now right now just right click and compile this I'm using 64 bits so I will use okay there's some error in this script so let's edit this script something got missed here I guess this is additional parameter you can see this double quote so let's remove this and now let's try to compile this and yes this got compiled now if you double click on this and just check this folder as well right now you can see it's blank when I double click on this file and you can see this file got downloaded right and now if you right click and extract here this is the exact i driver that we will get after downloading right i just executed this command and you can see the file got downloaded let me run it again and you can see the file got downloaded now there are some other useful methods as well let's say if you want to check the size of that uh, particular file then they have this method so they are giving one wait like wait until the download is not completed and they have also this method using this you can get the exact file size of that particular file which you have downloaded so they have one method called message box so it will display uh, one pop-up or message box like total file size is this and so on right so now question comes right now we have hard coded all these right now the question comes how we can parameterize this so passing parameter in auto it is very easy just we have to use commands uh, we will pass the commands or the parameter runtime so they have one cnd line 0 and 1 so 
in selenium what we will do this we will pass at runtime this also will pass at runtime and will pass to auto it script and then we will call this auto it script through selenium code and it will download the file so it doesn't matter which browser we use we will simply call this exe file correct now if you see there uh, what i will say their code so what they are doing they are actually storing in a temporary directory so if i run their code let's see how it works so let me save their copy as well and uh, let me save in the same folder i will go to g drive selenium folder and uh, auto it scripts download file and this i will give inet get dot au3 right now if i just right click and uh, compile their script so you can see why i got this exe file now if i double click and run this so you can see finally it fi uh, downloaded some file in our temporary directory and it is showing the total download size is 456 if i click on ok now if you see in their script they have written this message box so message box it will come and it will show you the size and finally they are deleting the file as well so that they can not use the our space so they are deleting the file as well so you cannot see so it is going to this temporary directory and from this temporary, uh, temporary directory they are deleting it right so this is what I have for this I hope you uh, understood the exact usage of this so this is the same script that we have written so you can give this relative path same thing i have done in the auto it editor this is the path this is the url and finally force load so in the next video i'm going to show you how you can parameterize these two parameters how you can send these two parameters from your selenium scripts and it will download the file automatically that's all I have for this video. If you like this video, uh, hit the like button below, share with your friend and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video.